Osage County. Um, the story of the Osage people, I have, I have a number of friends that are of Osage ancestry. I think that's one of the most remarkable stories in America, is, is the story of the Osages. Uh, my family is Cherokee, you know, turned out to be bitter enemies of the Osages in some respects. But, but to me, the, the history in Osage County embodies America. And the, the prairies are what Walt Whitman called the characteristic American landscape. And those of you that have experienced a prairie at dawn or at twilight and, and saw a bald eagle fly by or heard the prairie chickens on their legs in, in the mating season or heard the coyotes howl or watched the sunset or the Milky Way, you know, the darkest skies around here are in Osage County. If you look at a map of dark skies, if you want to see stars, you will see twice as many more in northern Osage County as you will just north of Pahuska. You think it's dark in Pahuska, it's twice as dark up near Four Acre Road right now. Remarkable. Um, I want to tell you just a little bit about the history of the tall grass prairie as an ecosystem. Originally, it stretched from southern Canada down through the center of the United States to the Gulf of Mexico. It spanned portions of 14 states. Depending upon how you draw the lines, it, it encompassed between 142 and 250 million acres. It was enormous. And it was perpetual. It had everything it needed to exist. You, you look at the plains of Africa now, the Serengeti plains, and you think, my goodness, that was that was utopia. That was nature's paradise. The tall grass prairie was much more fertile, much more productive, much more expansive, uh, much more wonderful than, than what's left in Africa. And what happened to the tall grass prairie? First of all, I want to tell you, it was shaped after the last ice age. You know, we didn't have glaciers in this part of the world. But the tall grass prairie is a relatively recent thing. It was shaped by three principal ecological forces since the end of the last glacial period. Those forces being the climate. In Osage County, we get an average of about 36 to 38 inches of rainfall per year. That is enough moisture to produce up to 10,000 pounds of dried forage per acre per year. An amazingly productive landscape. And it was shaped by grazing. The prairie has to be grazed. Now it's big ranch country. 